everybody, and welcome to another edition of Reality of Wrestling. My name is Brad Gilmore, and welcome to the show. We have a great night of action for you here in the World Gym Arena. We are going to see the returning Renaissance woman, the woman who holds, she is one half of the record holder for the most views on any match in Reality of Wrestling history, now surpassing over 26 million. She is the Renaissance woman, the former Diamonds Division champion. Hai Yun is back in action, and she's going to be taking on Rachel Rose. Rachel Rose has been very impressive here in the latter portion of 2020 in reality of wrestling we saw her get that win over danny b she's been in the championship contention she's been in the conversation you saw what happened at the drive-in show i think that rachel rose versus high yun is a very compelling match on paper and in our main event you want to talk about compelling will all day the man his name says it all he is always on every single day of the week and he's going to be taking on warren johnson warren johnson you want to talk about a man who's established himself in 2020 albeit by turning his back on his brother zach mason is it jealousy is it not that's for you to decide but he is going to be in our main event you're going to see will all day versus warren johnson and here we start off the action this week on Reality of Wrestling with a woman who is the queen, the queen of House Rose. She is Rachel Rose. Rachel Rose has been very impressive in this latter portion of 2020. I mean, even that win over Danny B was a conversation starter. Whenever we saw Rachel Rose do that, we started to think this woman, this performer, this athlete could be the very best that we see here in Reality of Wrestling in regards to the Diamonds Division and she could be well on her way to a Diamonds Championship in her near future. Look at that, making everyone bow down, making everyone show respect to the Queen. But when you talk about everyone, look at this everybody, the return of the Renaissance woman here is Hai Yun. This is the first time that we have seen Hai Yun in many, many months here at Reality of Wrestling. She has been keeping herself in tip-top condition. She has been wrestling. She has been training. She has been studying. She has been working on her craft. And the Renaissance woman lives up to that very name. And there she is, the former Reality Wrestling Diamonds Division Champion. The woman who has held this division on her back for several years. When you talk about the Reality Wrestling Diamonds Division, Hai Yun is one of the first names you have to mention. You have to talk about Hai Yun. You have to talk about Kylie Ray, Ivory Robin, Cinema. Those are some of the names that come to mind when I think about the Reality Wrestling Diamonds Division. That could even be the Mount Rushmore. And there's our opening bell from Isaac Bouillon, and we are underway. Hai Yun. You gotta think that she carries with her an intimidation factor, especially for a newcomer like Rachel Rose. Oh, never mind! There's a big shot to the knee, and we are off to the races. Hai Yun looking at Rachel Rose. Rachel Rose telling her, you're a loser, and I am not afraid of you. Side headlock there. Oh, no. Is that a noogie? I haven't seen that since the third grade. Not sure how effective it is in a wrestling match. But look at that, Hai Yun. Having Rachel Rose well scouted and now returning the favor. When you're a veteran like Hai Yun, you're not going to let small things like that from Rachel Rose get under your skin and a big shoulder block cover one. Kick out after one. Hai Yun just letting her know what time it is. But look at that, going for a big in Oh wait, hold on. Here we go, roll up. One, two, almost. That would have been a sneak victory there for Rachel Rose and a big back elbow to the grill. Oh, and a big body avalanche. Hai Yun using that power advantage over Rachel Rose, and Rachel Rose just crumbling up there like Diego De La Cruz's accordion. Go for that knee. Rachel Rose had it well scouted, sweeps the legs. Hai Yun landed on the back of the head. You saw her grab that there. That might disorient the former Ch Diamonds Division champion, the Renaissance woman. She is definitely holding onto the back of her head. She felt that. Trying to get some spacing here from Rachel Rose. Referee Isaac Bouillon starting his count. And here we go. Oh! Beautiful hesitation. Drop kick to the corner. Rolls her over. Looking for that one. Two. Can't get after two from Hai Yun. Hai Yun holds 
a distinguished honor here in Reality Wrestling. Not only is she the former Diamonds Division champion, she is one half of the most watched match in the history of this company, nearing 27 million viewers around the world. That was, of course, her versus AQA in a steel cage for the championship. And look at that, the mind games being played by Rachel Rose, but, oh wait, hold on, roll up. One, two. Mind games might work against a lot of competitors, but not someone like Hai Young, well scouted there, and a kick to the side of the head. You see Hai Young rolling her over here, one, two, oh, kick out. Oh, and look at that, Rachel Rose, that, we talk about her being a rookie, you talk about her being a newcomer, that was a veteran maneuver. She saw that earlier in the match, Hai Young was grabbing at the back of the head, after she tripped the legs of Hai Yun, and now Rachel Rose is going to work on it, going to pick her target. And look at this. And she's got that in pretty deep there. Restricting the airflow to the brain of Hai Yun. It's gonna make it very difficult to get the muscles moving you need the oxygen to get to those muscles get a moving but high young finding a way to get to a vertical base but rachel rose chopping it right back now rachel rose looking for maybe a suplex here high young shoving her into the corner not sure if that was a well scouted reversal or a desperation attempt high young looking like she might be slowing down a little bit in this match but she catches the boot of rachel rose oh oh Big chop to the chest. Wow, I felt that one. Hyun able to duck the back elbow. Hits with a diving lariat there. Up on the shoulders, fireman's carry position. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, and a dr leg drop. Cover, one, two, three. Oh, man, two and a half there by Hyun, and the Renaissance woman is not happy. With that result, she thought she might have had the three count. Complain to the referee, will not do a thing. She tells Isaac, okay, it was two and a half. Now I'm gonna search for that three. Looking for the beauty sleep there. Stomp to the foot from Rachel Rose. And a big spear, a big spear, a big spear. One, two, and a, oh my goodness. At the last possible moment, Hyun getting that shoulder up. Rachel Rose now pinning Hyun's arm behind her. Looks like she's going for a half Boston Crab here. The knee right there, right above the hips, right above the hips of Hyun. A lot of the power comes from the lower legs through the hips to the upper body. Be hard to lock in that beauty sleep and hit it. That half crab is in, Hai Young gets to the ropes. Rachel Rose has to break it. Referee up to a count of three, four, and now just shoves Rachel Rose off. That might have been a disqualification there, and Hai Young is in trouble. Hai Young is feeling the effects of this match. There's Rachel Rose arguing with the referee. It looks like she wants to slap the taste out of Isaac Bouillon's mouth. I don't blame her. And a kick to the gut from Hai Young. Back into the corner, Hai Young is gonna fire up and look for it, there's a big knee, that big knee. Call out the CTE, one, two, kick out after two, high on. Look at the face there, kind of uncharacteristic of somebody who's been to the top of the top here in reality of wrestling. A veteran should not allow that kind of frustration to set in. When you get frustrated, you get emotional. When you get emotional, you make bad choices. Ayan looking for a big German. And now again, getting her cranium rocked in that top turnbuckle. Looking for a big super kick. No. Uh oh, right into it. There it is. Beauty sleep. Beauty sleep. Can't she get the cover? One, two, three. Ayan is victorious in her return to the World Gym Arena. The Renaissance era continues. And Hyun, you see her saying right there, I'm next. She's going to try to get back what she feels is still hers. She feels like right now she is similar to Francis Ngannou being the uncrowned heavyweight champion. She is the uncrowned Diamonds Division champion. And she is back, and she means business.
Ronation Ashley Bull here, and I am joined by none other than Ryan Davidson, the new two-time Reality of Wrestling champion. How does it feel to be back on top of that mountain again? Yes, Miss Ashley, I do feel on top of the world, and it's not just because I'm the Wildcat Sports Heavyweight Champion or the Hurricane Pro Heavyweight Champion, but as we all know, I am the two-time and brand new Reality of Wrestling Heavyweight Champion by defeating Brian Keith. Now, I'm going to give credit where credit is due. Brian Keith is one of the most talented individuals that Reality Wrestling has ever had. And he represented the company and being a champion very well, despite of a global pandemic. And even though he brought everything he had at the drive through event, it just wasn't his night. It was my night. And with that being said, with the victory that I had and I put Brian Keith to rest, all these labels seem to pop up. I mean... Obviously, I've been known as being Ruthless Ryan Davidson, but then the Davidson drip continues to flow. And I'm known as the final boss, or the bearer from Bel Air. Now it's Ryan three belts. Now it's triple crown. The list goes on and on, Ashley. But it's kind of funny. I thought of these labels, and if there's one name that I have to go ahead and give myself, if there's one label that I want everyone in the world to recognize me as, well, that one word... It's just that when Ryan Davidson steps into the ring, when Ryan Davidson steps into any realm that pro wrestling has to offer, there's only one label that needs to be set. Undeniable. What grinds my gears is when people come for me and I did not sing for them. But if I yawn, if you wanted to come to the promised land, that's all you had to say. Because everyone is welcome. See, I used to be a big fan of yours. You know, three-time Diamond Champion. But lately, I don't see that anymore. See, you lost your title to Roxy, and you jumped on the skirt route, and you haven't been seen again. So that says a lot about you, a.k.a. The Renaissance woman. So, number one contendership. Me, the Rebel Brutus, versus High God. And let me tell you something. This Diamonds Division needs a good locker room cleaning. Veteran, leader, not anymore. This is my pack. This is my division, and Roxy will be mine. And that is a... For over 13 years, the King of Solar Screens has been an industry leader, and we proudly use 100% American-made products. Home of the $55 any size, any color solar screen. Well, what about arches? $55. What about circles? $55. What about rectangles? $55, $55, $55. Any size, any color, install free. The king of solar screens, on time, every time. Now, can you dig that, sucker? And coming up next, we have our main event, Will All Day, taking on Warren Johnson. Who's going to get the better of who? We saw what happened between these two men at our Reality Wrestling Drive-In Special. That is going, going to continue. Excuse me. Will we see the Renegades of Wrestling in the corner of Warren Johnson, and how will they have an impact on this match? And will Zach Mason's presence be at ringside? We're going to find out right now in our main event of Reality of Wrestling. Here we go, main event time, and I got three words for you. All day, all day. Will all day. Look at his face. Normally, he's happy to be inside the world, Jim Marina. I'm not saying he's not now, but on his face is determination and focus. He knows tonight he has Warren Johnson, a man who has made his life not the most pleasant in recent weeks. But Will all day is one of, if not the best 
athlete we have in reality of wrestling, and he is always uber confident. Not just normally confident, not just typically confident. He is uber confident when he's inside that squared circle that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody in the world, and he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them all damn day. Here comes Warren Johnson with some new muscle. We saw this man make his debut at the drive-in reality of wrestling special. And Warren Johnson showing off for the camera with that man who cost Will all day and Zach Mason in the end. The thing you gotta remember about Warren Johnson, the new leader of the Renegades of Wrestling. The numbers game is always at play. You saw Will all day, he came out here solo dolo. Looks like Warren Johnson doesn't have the confidence to go it alone, even though his credits speak for himself. Warren Johnson is one half of the greatest tag team we have ever seen in reality of wrestling. Fly Def, make no bones about it. They are on the Mount Rushmore. They are in the top five. They are not, they are in the top two and they're not two when it comes to tag team wrestling here at Reality Wrestling, former champion himself, Will Allday, former television champion, and here we go in our main event. It is Will Allday versus Warren Johnson. These two filling each other out. Will Allday getting the arm, pinning it behind Warren Johnson. Warren Johnson looking for a side headlock. We want to talk about wrestling acumen. These two are at the top of the list. Warren and Will, as technical as they come, and look at this. Looking for an early submission attempt. And now, just jumping right back into that side headlock, Will all day takes the left arm again. This has a different vibe tonight. This has a big fight feel, because we know these two men do not like one another. Head scissor there by Warren Johnson. And a lot of chain wrestling, a lot of technical acumen on display in the early goings of this. Those little shots to the ribs are going to make it hard to breathe momentarily, and that's gonna make that head scissors feel even deeper than it is. But look at that, Will all day. Now he's the one who's got a front face lock there, front chin lock. Back to the arm, the left arm of Warren Johnson's side headlock. Will all day is in the driver's seat now. Bounce against the ropes. Oh, big shoulder block. The one thing about Will all day, more than his athleticism, more than his confidence. Oh, look at that, looking for maybe a German. More than his confidence, this man's conditioning is at an upper tier. He is a one percenter when it comes to his conditioning ability inside the squared circle. It's really why his name is so fitting and a big, big kick there. Big kick, Warren Johnson just ate a bunch of shit. Cartwheel, round off, more like arm drag. Warren Johnson answers it. Oh my goodness, these two are going at it. I feel like I'm watching game seven of OKC and the Rockets flip over. Oh, going for his own shin kick of his own. Cover one, two, kick out. Wow, this is crazy. This is a crazy main event so far. Into the corner. Up and over goes Warren Johnson. Warren Johnson against the ropes and a beautiful drop kick right on the chinny chin chin. Of Warren Johnson from Will All Day. Will All Day even had to take a second to appreciate his work after that one. And it was beautiful. Oh! Back elbow there. And another jumping kick. Almost an enzigiri in the corner there from Will all day. And look at that. Look at the athlete. Oh my goodness, top rope, Hurricanrana sending Warren Johnson across the ring. And now Will all day is going up to the top and I don't know where the hell he's going. Warren Johnson's on the other side of the ring and a beautiful missile drop kick. Shades over a Harlem Heat Seeker.
And you can tell Will All Day is just getting fired up. And wait a minute, Isaac Bouillon going for a count. Will All Day was going to go for a tobe to the outside, but the new member of the Renegades of Wrestling. We know him as John. Oh, kick to the gut. Warren Johnson in Zagiri. That was the distraction that he needed, the trip of the foot from John. And oh, look at that. Oh, big right hand. Almost a right hand married with a lariat. Sends Warren Johnson to the outside. Will All Day. Oh, my goodness. Right in front of the announce table. Right in front of the timekeeper. Will All Day is vintage right now. And he's not afraid of no man. I don't know a lot about this John guy, but I know that he's looking real jacked, baby. Dog tags and all. He's an intimidating force on the outside, but Will All Day not intimidated by anybody. Warren Johnson off the commentary table, diving senton. Beautiful. A beautiful maneuver, and that's where the numbers game comes into play if you're Warren Johnson. That's why you feel very, very good when you're out there, because you know you have the Renegades are wrestling it right into the guardrail. Right into the guardrail. That could have that could have cracked the rib. That is solid steel meeting the rib cage of Will All Day. Warren Johnson getting this thing back in the ring, going up top. Perched up at the top rope. Beautiful splash. Shades of the Superfly. One, two. Kick out after two. Arguing with the referee. I'll tell you what, Isaac Bouillon is never in a enviable position, but look at that, a stiff right hand right to the face, right to the face like Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz too. A shot right to the forehead from John DeWill all day, and now some big body shots from Warren Johnson. Not a lot behind him, but enough, enough to knock Will all day onto the apron. Warren Johnson trying to get him up. Will all day. Some right hands to the side of the body. Catching him there on the top rope, stunning him a little bit. And a little springboard action, I think. Oh, shades of the Texas wrestling legend Eddie Guerrero. WWE Hall of Famer. And some big kicks to the chest and the upper torso. And look at Will all day. He's been going for nearly a dozen minutes. It doesn't look tired at all. You got to think the average UFC fight is 15 minutes. But here comes, oh, Warren Johnson. Beautiful series of offensive moves. And there we go. Little Tajiri action. Sands the green mist. Warren Johnson going for a cover here. One, two, oh, two and a half. Two and a half. And I was just touting the gas tank of Will all day, but that last series of offense from Warren Johnson, rallying here late in the fourth quarter, might have worn down all damn day. You see the, the look on his face, gasping for a lot of air there, as Will all day tries to fight out, fight out of this. Oh, with some big back elbows, those right elbows to the side of the face, fireman's carry position. Warren Johnson finding a way to kick out of it, fight out of it rather, oh, and just send it Will all day face first into the top turnbuckle. Woo, man. A chop just to reassure or reassert his dominance here in the later goings. Warren Johnson going up to the middle rope, now up to the top. We saw Will all day try something like this earlier in the match. Oh, wait, no. I thought he was gonna go for a hurricanrana. But it looks like maybe a superplex he's setting up for. Will All Day slips out from the bottom tree of woe for Warren Johnson. And now those kicks, those kicks to the lower torso, right above the abdomen. John trying to make his presence felt again for the umpteenth time in this match. Will All Day scaring him off. Oh, Warren Johnson had that well scouted. Gets a boot up to stop the inertia of Will all day. And there's a vintage to Warren Johnson. But you're talking about well scouted. Oh, go for a super kick. Miss. Oh, wow. Reverse neck breaker right there. 
a reverse neck breaker. Cover, one, two, three. Oh, man, there it goes again. Two and a half, two and a half, and Will All Day is still in this. He is still fighting. Abdominal stretch again. Warren Johnson finding success with this move, so he want to keep going back to it. He wants to keep going back to it. And Will all day rolls through. I thought he was gonna go for a pin there, so did Isaac Bouillon. Miss, miss. Strike three and you're out. Oh, going for the super kick the second time in this match, but Warren Johnson's the one who makes contact. This is not good for Will All Day. Oh, now Will All Day returns it with one of his own. And both of these men are laid out. Warren Johnson looking up at the lights, trying to figure out where the hell he is. And Will All Day is just trying to get back up to his feet. He knows that if he's on his feet, he is in this match. Oh, big overhand right. Chop, not even to the chest, but looks like to the side of the face. Almost a, a pimp slap, if you will, from Will all day to Warren Johnson. Warren Johnson feeling the effects. And now, here it comes, that second win. Oh, big spine buster from Will all day, turning him over. Fireman's carry position, what is he gonna do? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Almost a version of, his, of a go to sleep, and a hesitation drop kick to the back of the head. Cover, one, two. Beautiful, beautiful suplex right there from Will all day. And this main event is living up to its billing. And now, turning the knee pad over, we know what that means. He's tuning it up. He's ready for Warren Johnson to get back up because he's going to give him a fist full of knee. There it is. A big flying knee from Will all day, but Will all day not going for the cover. He's not going for the cover at all. What is he thinking? Now, Will all day. I said he's uber confident. He needs not let that uber confidence turn into cockiness. Arrogance will get you L's here at the Reality of Wrestling. John trying to make his presence felt at a big super kick to the outside. Oh my goodness, and there it is again, a low blow. A low blow from Warren Johnson. It seems to be his new signature maneuver. Second row, and a beautiful DDT cover. One, two, three, Warren Johnson steals it. While the referee was distracted, a low blow. A low blow from Warren Johnson to Will All Day, who had this match all but won the numbers game coming into play again. Just despicable actions continually from the leader of the Renegades, the chief Renegade in charge. Warren Johnson. Warren Johnson real proud of himself there. Some trash talk from John. But Warren Johnson, like it or not, can put a big dub in his column tonight as the winner in our main event of Reality of Wrestling. We'll see you next week.